Hey, Snackers, this is Kareem Iskander. Hey, everyone, Matt DiNapoli here, and welcome to episode 128 of Snack Minute. Um, this is a very special uh, Kareem and Matt only. We don't do these very often anymore, uh, but Kareem actually had something he wanted to show us. So you guys might remember a few weeks ago, Quinn Snyder was on, and he started talking about um, some of the topics we would cover with the ENC, uh, ENCC certification. Um, so the cloud connections uh, certifications that are coming out from Cisco U. And uh, Kareem's following that up, uh, and he's going to show us one of the tutorials to help prepare you for that. Um, and we're going to create some VPCs. We're going to uh, get a EC, add EC2 instances to it and all that fun stuff. So I'm excited to see how this all plays out. I haven't seen this yet. So uh, Kareem, if you don't uh, mind taking the ball and running with it, um, show us what you got. Yeah, Matt. Thanks. Yeah, it's been a while. We have, we don't we we always say this too. We we don't do this often whenever it's uh, a Matt and Kareem episode, but uh, I always <laughs> look forward to them. Um, what I wanted to do is we know that we know we have our um, ENCC Cloud Connect certification um, uh, is out, and we know that um, what it entails from our our blueprint. Uh, we had Patrick on walk us you know a couple episodes ago. Uh, walked us through uh, the blueprint, the training itself, and what it covers, right? And part of knowing <clears throat> your Cloud Connect is understanding the the actual connection, not only from your prem to your on prem to the cloud, but also what's happening in the cloud itself. We also had Quinn on, and he talked about. Uh, the connection, the VPN tunnel between his CML, which represents the on-prem uh, infrastructure to kind of the cloud. I wanted to reverse that and I wanted to give our snackers and our learners the the understanding of what's happening on the cloud side. So um, my first tutorial that I wrote is around uh, AWS. And we're essentially going to go build out an AWS network from scratch, assign some resources, some compute to it, and then look at what's happening. So if we look at kind of like the overview um, of the different pieces that you need to know from an AWS terms, specifically on the cloud networking, you need to understand what a VPC is, which is virtual private cloud. Um, subnetting, this is kind of bread and butter for any network, whether cloud or not. And we, talk, we talked about that in our previous episode as well with Quinn and his duck analogy. Um, and um, <laughs> you're going to need to create some type of internet gateway to allow that connections to happen from your you, you know your private resources and network out to the world and then we're going to assign some some compute to to the network itself with um with which is ec2 instances elastic cloud com, elastic compute cloud uh which is an aws service uh that allows you to basically run containers or run vms whatever it is that that you choose to to run right and so this tutorial kind of walks you through that step by step, and it gives you um, an overview of what we're gonna do. We're gonna do. We have our our AWS here world. We first create a VPC. Within the VPC, we're gonna have a private subnet uh, with this subnetting IP dot uh, one slash twenty four. You need to know your CCNA in order to know what subnetting is and how to how to break that out. Um, we're gonna create an, also a private subnet. And then what we're going to say is we're going to have an internet gateway that allows us to connect to our public subnet. And while we're in the, our public subnet, we can access our private resources. And so we'll do this step by step. So, you know, all of this, I kept in mind that not everybody is has the ability to, to have a paid account or paid resources on AWS. So um, I've used all of my example uh, with the free tier of AWS. Um, so one thing that I'm planning on doing as part of this is I'm, I'm actually going to do this um, as part of a series where I, uh, the U series that we have, where I'll walk you step by step on how to accomplish this and teach you and talk to you about, you know, how to, how to actually do it within AWS. But um, the just the one thing that you want to keep in mind is whatever you're doing here and whatever you choose to do with this tutorial, make sure that you destroy the, the network and shut down your EC2 instances. There's no reason for you to get charged for anything, but getting it up and running does not cost a thing. So first of all, <clears throat> we walk you through, okay, we go in, we create a public subnet, 
I tell you how to do this, and this is using the, the subnetting IP address of 10.0.1.0.24, and that allows us to create a subnet, which gives us about, uh, we're using a slash 24, so it gives us about 256 addresses that we can assign, so you can have as many um, EC2 instances in there. Um, next, we go in and create that private subnet, so now we have a public and a private. The, obviously, the private subnets are, you know, they're there for a reason, which which is essentially not to be accessible from the external world. And so, you know, we can tie this to something like you, you want to run a, a vault server that has all your secrets, right? You, you want that server to be only accessible once you're in the network, not on the outside, right? And so something, a, a good use case for that private subnet. Kareem, I have a question for you about... Um the the notion of putting a public subnet inside the VPC. So if there are services within the VPC that need to be accessed and we have services uh, from the outside world, uh, what's the benefit or or what are the challenges? What are the things we have to think about when we're putting the public subnet uh, services inside a VPC? The VPC is your network. It, it, essentially, this is this is your VPC. This is me saying, um, I am going to put in a switch and a router, and and this is the configuration for it. So, like that's the layer three kind of network that you need to store, right? Which is so this virtual. Is, yeah, this is actually helpful. I hope hopefully this is helpful for snackers, and they're not going. Matt just asked a really dumb question. So this is probably something I knew years ago, but since I haven't been practicing my stuff, um, I kind of lost this notion. So I think where the confusion comes in for me is um, the fact that it's the 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 terminology, right? So VPC, um, you know, indicates to me that this is private in some way, um, and you know, I kind of you know, forgot, <laughs> we'll, we'll just say I forgot if I ever knew it, we'll say um, that the VPC itself is is a necessity um, for us being able to set up serv accessible services within our AWS instance. The other thing, Matt, that actually you, you're, I kind of don't think your question is stupid. I think it's a valid question because it's, it's a virtual private um, cloud. Anything that you create in AWS initially is by default assigned to a private network. And so okay. that VPC is by default private. You actually have to go specify and put in these hooks to be able to allow it to be accessible from the external world. And this is where we create an inter internet gateway basically to say that internet gateway has an external facing IP address that's gonna basically come in and we're gonna have some ACLs in place to allow us to access that VPC. So I remember, your question is I very valid. I remember why, yeah, so actually I'm remembering now why um, I got the confusion because it actually used to be you could run an EC2 instance and not run it in a VPC and it, you didn't have to require, like it wasn't a required thing before. And they changed that cause it was like crazy insecure. <laughs> right. Um, and, and you didn't have to, you didn't have to define internet gateway. Um, and now, I mean, it makes sense that you have to do it this way. And now like, it's all flooding back to me. I, I get it, but thank you. Thank you for clarifying that Kareem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so which is a, a great transition into the next one. Now, now that we have that that VPC with different subnets and created, um, we need to be able to, and we have an access to the internet gateway. Um, and it's super simple. They made it super simple for us to to build these services and build up our network. Um, I walk you through how to how to build that internet gateway, and then finally we need to just like anything, right? We need to be able to, to create routes from the external to our public um, uh, subnet. And then we also need to create a route from our public subnet to our internal private subnet. This way we can access the different resources once we're in our network, right? And so you go in as part of that internet gateway, you build out your routes. And I tell you, and I walk you through how to how to build out these routes. And then finally, now that we've kind of built our network um, and it's very basic network configuration here, um, think of it as CCNA level network uh, in the cloud. <clears throat> we need to be able to go 
test that network out. So what I do is I go launch two instances of EC2, simple VMs, Linux VMs that I put on that are a part of the free tier. Uh, I launch an EC2 instance in uh, the public network and the public subnet, and I launch another EC2 instance in your private. And then what I tell you essentially is to go in, um, generate, walk you through how to generate that SSH to be able to SSH into that Linux box. And from your uh, your your local machine to the public facing subnet. So you get in there, uh, you generate your SSH key and you connect. Once you've successfully connected to that point, you can actually go in from that Linux box because the other one is in our uh, private subnet. We have to be on the same because the route is from public to private subnet. We are in that box. We log into the EC2 instance in our private, and voila, kind of we've demonstrated how easy it is to basically configure your network and launch a network within your cloud. If you take this and add on what Quint spoke about last um, in our previous episode, you essentially now can connect from that environment out to your on-prem using that VPN, VPN tunnel. So it yeah. kind of gives you an idea of what to expect on that EC, uh, ENCC exam, um, as well as um, teaches you something new about the cloud and cloud networking. Yeah, I mean, this is, I mean, this is so foundational to anyone understanding how we actually do anything in, in these cloud services because, um, you know, we shifted the concepts of networking and compute outside of, you know, sitting here in a data center or wherever we have those actual boxes, we, we virtualize that entire experience. And, um, you know, you got to understand how this stuff works. And so you guys have seemingly done a great job putting that together. Um, I, I read, learned something today, so that's always helpful. And um, I'm excited to, to see um, what people get from, from all this. I'm, I, I'm sure you guys are going to get lots of community posts and emails saying, thank you so much for doing this. Because from what I can tell, Cream, you boiled down um, hundreds of pages of documentation down to some quick steps uh, to get people started. So I, I really I really think this is going to be super helpful to our community and the, the industry in general. Great job. Yeah, thanks, Matt. Definitely. Cool, cool. Um, unfortunately, bud, um, that's all the time we have for today. So I'm going to bid you adieu. Tip of my cap to you, <laughs> and you. Uh, Snackers, we'll see you next week. Thanks, Matt. Thank you, Snackers. <laughs>